Okay, and I love it. <laughs> It's giving Outer Banks. I'm gonna be giving you guys the honest tea about the Hamptons, Montauk, these brand trips. Yeah. We are having you the best f food yeah. while watching the sexy surfers. I'm so happy. I want to cry. We talk to brand people where we're like, how do you pick who you're inviting? Oh my god, I thought you just got your period. The boys are still boying. This is Pete. Hey guys, how are you? We're off to a very exciting vlog. It's our first Hamptons trip of the summer and we're going with Steve Madden. It's a bit of a vibe change. I just got back from the Dominican Republic literally 24 hours ago. Unpacked my suitcase, repacked it, and we're officially out the door. I literally have one fourth of my brain cells like functioning right now, but I still managed to put together a really cute outfit and it's Steve Madden head to toe. So let me show you. They have like a very cute and like Hamptons vibe collection that's out right now. It's these like matching shorts and button up set that I am obsessed with and I just paired it with this little gray bralette And then I'm wearing these black sandals that pretty much go with everything I think I'm gonna wear these like the whole summer. That's my little fit. The Uber's here We're meeting all the girls at a party bus at the Steve Madden store in Soho So let's get her ass over there and guess who's my plus one you guys this sexy little thing Unfortunately, they don't accept plus twos or I would have brought you. I would have brought you my little, little. We're in the Uber. I'm about to get there. Luckily, now that I've moved, nothing is far. We are running a little bit late. 13 minutes late to be exact. But we're on our way. Tamir and Ebru are also going. So it's basically a squad vacation. Hey, girl. Oh, my God, you guys. Look how ridiculous this year is. You would. You would. Okay, be. and I love it. <laughs> Take a bite. Take a bite of the mirror. Mmm, delicioso. <laughs> We're picking out a pair of shoes for the trip. I'm kind of obsessed with these. I've never seen anything like this. Very cute. I'm going with this pair just because I feel like it is going to match all my outfits. I'm going to try on a six and a half and a seven to see which one is going to work better. These are the heels that I got. Very cute, very nice. Is that my vlog camera? No. Nope. It is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hats on and we're on. Oh. Like, get it? So off there. You guys, it's so cute here. Look how adorable this little street that we're on is. This is where we're going. Okay, perfect. So we just finished shopping. Everyone got a pair of shoes. We are here now at Cafe Charlo and we are going to have brunch. Food is here. Damn no. I think we've arrived. We just got to Montauk. It's gorgeous. We're staying at the Surf Lodge, which is supposed to be lit. Everybody always raves about how fun this place is. And there's like a few rooms. There aren't like that many hotel rooms. It's like a pretty boutique hotel. Nell and I are staying in room eight. Here's our room. Wow. This is literally perfect. They have a bunch of little goodies for us. All our Steve Madden clothes, our shoes that we picked. Wow, this is perfection. We have a bag full of goodies. Can't wait to go through this. Let's see what else we have here. They got us little bucket hats. <gasps> Nail, they engraved our initials on the jackets. That is literally adorable. And then we have a little towel. I'm gonna cry. This is actually perfection. So f***ing grateful. Our little patio with a hammock. Obviously gonna take some pictures on there. And then this is our view. Literally perfect. Samira is cocooning so hard in our hammock right now. She goes, this is my first time on a hammock. There's no hammock in my room. They don't have hammocks in Minnesota. <laughs> no, they don't exist. Here's our little bathroom. They gave us some skincare goodies, some hair care goodies. This is very on brand, the surf spray. Love. Outfit change. We are at dinner now. We have the most gorgeous view. Hey you guys, this has been like one of the best brand trips of my whole life so far. Erica, Elizabeth, Dana, Olivia, if you're watching this, y'all rock. I love the way you planned all of this. Obviously we're done with dinner now. We can't sleep in our room. We're not sleeping there. Why? Because there's malicious bugs everywhere. Where's my straw? <laughs> malicious. Hey Lul. That ain't me. Hey guys. Hi. So we came to the bar after the dinner and we are having a little drink. She's having some 
lemonade. Bye. Whoa. Don't be scared of my appearance. We have hair and makeup at the place we're going to. Today is Steve Madden shoot day. Bringing all our Steve Madden outfits with us. This dress is from Steve Madden. Obviously, sandals Steve Madden. We're bringing like a big bag of outfit changes. Or at least I am. We gotta go. Good morning, ladies. The ride is here. Good morning, everybody. Morning. How are we feeling? Amazing. We just made it to the location where we're gonna be shooting. It's this really cute hotel. Apparently it's new, very adorable. Okay, we're grabbing a quick breakfast. This is the Maram Hotel. The girls are getting coffee. I'm not a big coffee person, so I'm skipping out on that. And then we grab some bites from over there. I have some orange juice, a muffin. I'm gonna eat that really quick. And then we'll probably get started with hair and makeup. God knows I need it. We are doing hair and makeup now, and then we will be ready to shoot. I am a bro. Okay, you guys, did a very light makeup. Nothing crazy. Now I should probably do something about my hair because I don't know what happened. We did some <laughs> light beachy waves. The best part. It looks so good. Did you also want to do beach waves? Yeah. We were at the beach. Yeah. That's the theme. It's now lunchtime. Damn, I brew. I ate that fast. <laughs> Honestly, it looks really good. Hello, vlog. We have been getting content the whole day. Probably have done like five outfit changes, just shooting around everywhere. And now it's finally time to just sit back, relax, and watch the sexy surfers do their thing. Don't mind the awkward chair right there. I also use that as a part of my photo shoot. Hello, party people. We we came back to our hotel, did a quick little outfit change. Now we're gonna go back to the other hotel that we were in because we're doing a beachside bonfire picnic situation. This is my little outfit, just wearing this super like casual button up from Madewell. And then obviously my favorite low waisted denim baggy jeans. These are Subies, very cash. Guys, look at this gorgeous setup. The sun is gonna set, where is it? I guess it's not, it's still up there. The boys are still Boying, so the view's still great. Look how good this hummus looks. Ooh, we've got the olives, the grapes, the cheese, veggies. <laughs> this is so great. We are having the best food while watching these hot men surf in our face. This is peak. You guys, we've got a s'mores kit. We're gonna have a little bonfire. Oh, we're already having it, I guess. Yeah, girl, eat that s'more. She made it with her own hands. You guys, this might be one of my favorite summer outfits that I've ever put on. Let me get the bag. I will put something down and then not find it. Oh, here it is. I am wearing this little baby doll linen purple off-white dress with a little open back. Like, how f***ing cute. The shoes are just these, like, nude woven raffi. On, like sandal heels. They go with like the linen beachy vibe. And then I have this little lilac suede Bottega. Fully loving this. The dress is a little wrinkled. I should find an iron. We're at Titi's. Which is like this famous tacos and tequila. Of course we have the bride herself. Do you want to marry me? Do you want to marry me? Of course. Oh my god, it's so cute. We're married. Did you know that? We made it to dinner. Oh my god. Death is upon us. You guys, it is bright and early in the morning. I don't know how the this happened. We know, made it out of bed and we are at Soul Cycle. I will say this is the most aesthetically pleasing Soul Cycle I've ever seen. Okay, let's get in there and shake sh up. Shake absolutely nothing Actually, up. Actually, we're going to be in the back like doing nothing. And Samir goes, I'm going to fake work out today. <laughs> Off you go into the chambers of hell. <laughs> Mira, you didn't fake that one, though. No, I did that. You did it. We're here where the boats are. We are doing a boat day today. This has been so like back to back to back to back, but we're gonna go on a little boat tour. I think have lunch and then the real party is tonight. We're gonna go off at Surf Lodge. It's gonna be my first surf at the lodge. It's giving Outer Banks. Oh, yeah. We are waiting to take off. It was getting really 
hot out there. So we're moving it inside. We're gonna have a little salad for lunch. So we have something in our system before the alcohol takes over our system. Hello. Now we're headed back to start getting ready for the party. I might need to take another power nap so I can power through this. We are ready to lodge at the surf harder this time. We fully heard security like setting up because like apparently it gets crazy. Let me show you what I'm wearing. I ended up wearing this little flowy dress. I was gonna wear something else. Everybody was like, you look too fancy. I was like, I don't wanna be that bitch. And then I changed seven times and then I was too casual. This feels beach and in the middle somewhere. So this is what I'm going with. And then the little white Steve Madden slide. Hey guys, shit went down last night. We had a lot of fun at the surf lodge. That's how I'll put it. It is now the end of our trip. We had a lot of fun. We're about to head back to the city. Me and Nil were supposed to stay because we got invited to this like pool party, but the weather today really isn't giving pool party. And also we're just dead. We're just gonna go back to the city with everybody else. Oh my god, my camera's literally dying. But what we're doing before we go is we're all getting B12 shots to like hopefully revive ourselves back into life. And then we are tootling out of Montauk. You guys, Girlies we're crazy. Yeah, we we're, had one day. We had one day in between that last clip you saw in the city, and now we're headed straight back to the Hamptons. So I was like, you know what? I might as well just make this one long Hamptons vlog so you can really get that experience of what the <laughs> f goes on over there. This time, I'm plus one ing Samira. So we're going to Supergroup Love Shack Fancy like collab event for one night. And the day after, we both got invited and Nil to this other event. Which is perfect. Do they know we're friends? Like, I yeah. just happy that we're all together all the time. They must. We've talked to brand people where we're like, how do you pick who you're inviting? And they always like try to make sure that there's some mutuals because mm -hmm. you know, if you're in a situation where you like show up by yourself and then you don't know anybody and then you know, maybe you're like a little shy, like you're not gonna have the best time. So I feel like they do a great job planning it. Glad this is working out for us. That second trip is with like a hotel and it's sponsored by a bunch of other different brands. So we're basically gonna be in the Hamptons for like another three days. A whole new set of girls, new New team, Ooh. new brand, new hotel, new activities. Let's see what they have planned for us. You guys, we just pulled up to the hotel and the first thing we see is this baby pink Bronco, but it's the Love Shack fancy Bronco. I am so obsessed with it. The interior is there a like famous floral design. This is the cutest car I've ever seen in my life. And it kind of like went with my outfit. Is this a dream car? Wow. We're gonna go check into our rooms now. We just got to the room. Let's just take in the f***ing view because this yeah. is like incredible. This is a huge balcony, a full view of the beach. We're just gonna kind of like settle into our rooms and then change into beach clothes. Okay. Samira, thank you for inviting me. I love you. That's so sweet of you. We always stay super grateful throughout yeah. shit like this that we do, which is why I really like going on these trips with you. It's nice to stay connected. But let me show you the room. This is the Love Shack fancy bedding that they're kind of famous for. They fully just switched the hotel bedding, which I love for them. There's these two little workout sets. I think we're doing a yoga class tomorrow. And then we just have some more Super Goop Love Shack fancy glow screen. I literally like use this every day on my face. Gorgelina. Oh my god. That's enough glow screen for for a while. Yeah, for a while. So that's good. Adorbs. Hey sister, how you doing? What's up guys? We just put on our bathing suits. We're gonna head down to the beach. We have a lot of free time today. They kind of were just like, go down to the beach, get some lunch. I am wearing the cutest little bikini. This is my first time wearing it. It's like this blue green paisley. These are my new slides. I think I'm gonna wear them basically the whole summer. They're from Marnie. They're a little bit on the more expensive side, but I'll link them below. They're so f***ing comfy. I put all my stuff in this little pouch that they gave us from Love Shack. I'm bringing my Kindle because Samira said she might need to come back up to the room to do some work. So I might just like chill on the beach, read a book, be mysterious. To the cabana. We just got to the beach. This is our cabana. We've got a bunch of super goop Love Shack collab things going on here. And then we also have some champagne. I have a really bad habit of taking over her vlog. 
I just take her camera and I start talking. I love it. I love when you do that. <laughs> we just ordered some lunch to our cabana. That's why you look so cute. I love you. I love you too. Apparently, there's a bathhouse here. But they were like, it's not a spa. It's a bathhouse. A cold plunge, a hot plunge, and a pool. So I think we're going to head over there after we get this food in our system. It's time to do the spa. Oh, yeah. Very pretty. It's steaming real hard. So let me get this fast. We just did sauna and then we did cold plunge and then we did hot tub I think I'm gonna do the cold plunge and the sauna again because it's good to have like a rotation going So I'm gonna do one more round. Samira's gonna head back to the room. She has some work to do You slayed that girl. She made me stay in there for like two minutes finished my spa session. I feel like cold plunges have been a thing in the more recent years. I'm getting good at doing them. I did like three three minute sessions today, but I don't really know like the correct protocol around it. I went in a sauna and then I went in a cold plunge and then we did hot tub and then cold plunge again and then sauna and then cold plunge. I don't want to like do anything to my body where I like end up it up. I don't know like what is the right thing to do and I was like trying to do some research in there But a bunch of websites say different things. So if you have some expertise on that, please let me know. I would love that Come on in to start Ladies and gentlemen and everybody else we are ready. We really need to get going we I just... am on to see my husband. I'm, I'm happy. happy. I'm happy. We're both ladies in white Okay, we gotta, we gotta go. go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We're going to dinner. A little Lady Dior got these pearl hoops on. Mm. They're from Argento Vivo. Bye. Okay, so we just uh, met up with everybody and we're having photo ops before we head over to dinner. We're going to this place called Tell Rose. I like that it's rose because it goes with the pink theme. This whole thing's getting pink. I love it. Look how beautiful this table setup is. This is perfect. I would love to get married in like a little thing like this. Or not like get married. Just have like my dinner. Which is like a thing I love. And like a little tent like this. So, appetizer has arrived. This is some shrimp to mine. And I have to eat Caesar salad. Me and Samir are gonna share. We like to get different appetizers and then share them. I did drop my fork though, so. We just got some linguine and clams. Yum, yum. Yay. <laughs> Hey guys, so we came back to the hotel room. I need to show you guys Samira's outfit. Show them. I'm not showing them, Haley. Why? I'm not. Why? Because I like my little room. Show them what's under it. <laughs> it's really not I'm that. I'm fully naked. It's not <laughs> That's gonna get you banned off YouTube for life. For life? Clearly she's never watched my girl talk videos where we talk about shaving her assholes. Anyways, my hair was so pretty today. Like just some casual little waves that I put in there. Yeah, they look really cute. Thank you. There's a bonfire happening right now, but we don't know if we want to go because it's really cold outside and for some reason we didn't pack anything. That's not our robes. We literally just have our robes. I don't know. I'm trying to watch the first episode of the Kardashians. That's the best. Good morning, you guys. We just woke up, put on our little Love Shack fancy workout outfits. Came home from dinner last night and basically just passed out. Samira's one of those friends that like say she's gonna stay up and watch the Kardashians with you. And then you look over after the first 30 seconds and you see her. Dude, you caught me on a bad night. <laughs> Why are you so mad about it? Seems like you got defensive. Has anybody else accused that of you recently? <laughs> Is it valid? Crazy. We have to go. You guys, how cute is this little setup that we have? We have our little Love Shack towels, our water bottles. This is really cute. It kind of matches my workout set. Love. We're getting a bite in before we have to quickly hurry over to our room and get out of this place before checkout time. We're headed to Seoul East, which is another hotel in Montauk that's hosting us for tonight with completely different round of brands, different group of girls. Honestly, I'm not that exhausted. Like, I think I'm just like pushing through. The two days in New York really did help though. 
that was definitely much needed. And I love my hair. Nil is also coming on this trip. She's meeting us there. She had to take the bus with all the rest of the girls. Like they got a party bus from the city into Montauk. But we're already here, so we're going to the hotel. We're just taking an Uber. It's like 10 minutes away. I don't think they're there yet. We might need to wait for them a little bit. So we just got to the hotel. It's very cute in here. It's like very beachy vibes. And then this is my room that I'm gonna be sharing with Nil. When you walk in, we have these two beds, our little situation here. This brand trip is more like a collaboration trip between a bunch of different brands. I guess the main sponsor being the hotel. So we're staying at Seoul East. I would say that this hotel has been like the most chill vibes out of all of them. The other ones were like- This one's more boutique vibes. Yeah, it's more boutique vibes. Like this is the type of place that I would actually like come and stay with with my friends yeah. like if I was coming to Montauk by myself not that I wouldn't stay at the other places those are a little bit more like family high-end vibes if that makes sense but this is like really really cute they have a bunch of sponsors before we came here they sent us a lookbook of a bunch of different options that we could pick out of and we made our selects and now that we're here we're gonna try them on two to five pool party and then we're getting our oh with tequila by Flecha Azul which Flecha Flecha which I think is the tequila sponsor of the trip and then we're getting our hair done with Moroccan oil to get ready for dinner and then dinner at the backyard restaurant which I think is like attached to the hotel and then oh we're gonna go around Montauk so these were my selects I got this bikini from solid and striped this is what I'm gonna wear to the pool party this is my little bikini I think it's really cute it's giving Sophia Richie in her rich wife era going along with them I got these white mesh bathing suit cover-up and then this cute little like PJ set from Everjay. Hey, these are really cute. They're like little booty shorts. They're very, very soft. And then, oh, I actually saw someone at the other hotel wearing this. And then we have this black like disco pant material workout set. And then, this is really cute. I'm probably gonna wear this all in summer. This baby blue like towel, terry cloth material little set, which honestly, I'm glad we have this sweater because I kind of underestimated how cold it would be here. This was the only sweater I brought and I think I've worn it like four times already. And then we have this beach bag from M. Jemmy. Cute. I really like this hat. Vacation leisure services. I f*** with that hat. And then, oh, we have a little words project bracelet. Very cute. Adina Eden, one of my favorite jewelry brands ever. Let's open this up. Here are the Adina Eden pieces. Love these little hoops. Over here, we have a bunch of little drinks, snacks, looking good. Me and Nell basically got all the same things except for the bikini. Her bikini is also very cute. These are the sunglasses I picked. It's the Salt and Stripe Los Specs collab. And then we have two pairs of shoes from Dolce Vita. We've got some vacation sunscreen. I am obsessed with this brand's branding. I think it's so cute. They kind of like popped off in the past year or so. Look how cute that packaging is. I think this is where the hat was from. We've got some liquid IVs which is going to come in really handy. I love liquid IVs after a hangover. There's also a lot going on in the bathroom. Let me show you. We have a bunch of makeup from Buxim and then they gave us the Sola Wave skincare wand. I've never tried this. It's supposed to, well it says right here everything that it's supposed to do for your skin. And then they gave us the serum that goes with it. For skincare we have some Ole Henriksen. So they really stocked us up. And then it says Hey Haley and Nail, we're so excited to kick off summer with you at Sole East. Very cute. Thank you so much to all these brands for this. Kind of feels like I'm like walking through the mall when I'm walking around in the hotel, but I'm very excited to style everything and go to this pool party. Nail, I haven't seen you in 24 hours. I miss you so much. I'm gonna start doing a little like light makeup because we have a pool party very soon. Let's get this party on the road. And while I'm doing my makeup, I'm gonna be giving you guys like the honest tea about everything that I think about like the Hamptons, Montauk, these brand trips because this has been a long vlog and I feel like if you're still watching at this point, you're like a real one and we can keep all of this kind of like between us. So obviously this is our third trip of the week, which I don't want any of you to think that this is what my regular life is like. I mean, you guys follow me. So you kind of know that three brand trips in one week isn't really like normal. I also need to do my makeup at the same time. I'm gonna be using this Rose Deep Hydration Emulsion 
hydration if you guys know i usually use the rose deep hydration face cream and i don't know what it is about it it's like the one thing in my skincare routine where if it's not there my skin is not at its like peak it's my favorite moisturizer in the whole world the only thing about it is the face cream is very thick which my skin loves in the winter because it gets pretty dry and it's the only thing that can like actually keep it moisturized for a long period of time but in the summer it's a little too thick i think they heard our calls and they made the same thing in like a lightweight version so now this is my summer obsession fresh is just like one of my favorite brands in the whole entire world shout out to them road passion fruit lip balm i love this sh Say what you want to say about Hailey Bieber, but she knows how to make a lip balm. Okay, my overall thoughts on the Hamptons and like Montauk in general. The Hamptons is just like a very privileged area and it's beautiful and I'm so grateful to be invited here and it's pretty fun. But like when we went to the Surf Lodge, for example, the Surf Lodge is one of the most, glow screen, shout out Super Goop. It's one of the most talked about, like famous, like where all the like really rich kids of New York come to like party. You know, it's like hard to get into a table costs 7.5k is what i've heard it's really pretty but first of all we were there with a brand and we were staying at the hotel we were like fully guests of the hotel the people working there except for like in the cafe those people so sweet shout out to you guys but everybody else i will like go out of my way all the time to be extra nice to people just because me personally if someone doesn't come at me with the most warm welcoming friendly energy i get in my head and start thinking oh my god like do they not like me like did I do something it's just kind of like my own insecurities and I would just hate anybody else to feel that way because of my actions just because I know like how shitty it is to be on the other end of it especially if it's staff or like anybody in the service industry because it's totally understandable for people to be in a mood if they're like coming across bad customers whatever it is but like every time I would go up to anybody that worked there and even just like give them a smile or just be like hi good morning like they literally be like at first I was like, okay, maybe it was like a one-off instance. I just came across somebody that was like having a bad day. But then like all the other girls on the trip started talking about the same thing, being like, hey, like, am I being overly sensitive or is everyone here literally being a I fully got into beef with some of the servers at the actual party for absolutely no reason, like asking for a drink, which is kind of like what you're supposed to ask the bottle service people. Like you ask them for a drink and I just like know myself, like I would never do it in a rude way. Maybe it's also because like they're dealing with a bunch of other stuck up people that are partying there the whole time. But even then, like, I don't know, it was just like the worst energy. And it's like, you're surrounded by such stuck up energy, both from the people working there and from the people that are like partying there, everyone like, feels super entitled it's like why the f is this place so hyped up i don't get it i would rather sit at home than be somewhere where like i'm just surrounded by bad vibes like that we come across this shit in new york all the time when we go out by the way it's not just like a surf lodge thing but it was like quadrupled there that's kind of like what i'm trying to get at with the whole hamptons thing it's basically like stuck up energy on steroids it obviously depends on like the people that you come with and like who you know like you just need to know the right people it's very elitist so that's the tea no anything else that you want to say about the hamptons it's cold <laughs> Ooh, you guys how cute is this bikini top it's from salt and striped i'm obsessed wearing my baggy subi jeans as always my favorite slides for the summer these are the marnies and then my chunky hoops are the adina eden hoops that i showed you when i was doing the little like hotel tour and then same with this sweater it's from daily drills and it's this like light blue terry cloth and that's new <laughs> look how cute this little setup is. It's pronounced Fletcha, we found out. It's the pool squad. We're all kind of chilling by the pool. I love that the DJ is going off, literally for us. I feel like in the past three weeks, I've met like 50 brand new people. I'm the type of person where it's like, if I haven't socialized in a while, when I start socializing again, it's like really hard for me because I need to like come out of my shell and like get back in the groove of everything. But if I've been socializing and I'm just like in a go, go, go mood, it's almost like my socializing skills are like sharpened it's easier for me to get to know people oh my god i love this bikini top you guys no. No. i'm gonna give you a hug she goes no. 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 i love you i love you too oh let's play this do you know this game samira four up <laughs> four up <laughs> we're just chilling by the 
pool. A lot of the girls went upstairs because they want to take their makeup off. And then Moroccan Oil is going to be doing our hair right there. They're one of the sponsors of the trip. There's like a hair stylist that's going to be touching up everyone's hair before dinner. I think I'm just going to like ask if I could get a few more loose curls in because I like this little situation that I have going on right now. No one upstairs because she wants to like fully wash her hair and get a blowout. And then we have dinner and the dinner is actually at the hotel. So everything's right here. Very cozy, chill little trip. Getting my hair done with rock oil. Nil just got hers done. <laughs> I just went with super loose waves. Just touching up kind of like what I had earlier. The ladies are ready for Zina. Love this dress on her. House of CB. <gasps> oh my god, I thought you just got your period. Are you gonna just stand like <laughs> We've just been so lucky with our dinners for the past few days. We've been eating good. Let's see what's over there. Oh sh we got apps all lined up here. Honestly, I'm hungry. I think I'm just gonna get started. We're basically doing family style with everything. Thank you. I think this is seared tuna, and then this is fish filet. Hey guys, we just wrapped up dinner. It was so delicious, and apparently there's a bonfire happening, but this isn't really the ideal fit for the bonfire. Gonna change into cozy, comfy clothes. It's also really chilly outside, and then head back down there. My whole heart. I think this is the most beautiful little scenery I've ever seen in my life. Like this just looks like out of a movie. Like this looks perfect. I'm so happy. I want to cry. Go. Me and Samira were just talking about how perfect this little show is. The lights were just so cute, I think. Like, imagine if like your boyfriend was here right now. But unfortunately, he doesn't exist. Not even a chance of one. Okay, you guys, we sat by the fire for a bit, but now it's 12:14, so it's officially time for bed. Neil didn't even like make it to the fireplace. Oh my god, this lighting is insane. Why yellow? I'm gonna go to bed. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Today is the last day and we are going to yoga. Me and I woke up, we put on our little workout sets, They're like disco material ones. They're like yoga pants with like bell bottom with slits on the bottom. And then the top is just this one shoulder strap situation and we're matching. And apparently there's like a yoga deck in the woods across the street from the hotel that we're staying at where like people go hiking and stuff. We're gonna take advantage of the deck to to do another yoga session. It's nice because usually when I'm on vacation, I feel like I'm like slacking on my workouts. Usually if there's a brand trip, they always put in a workout. So I think this is like my fourth workout of the week. I also did like a butt class when I was in New York in between these two trips. So where that though? Let me know if you find it. Here's the little deck where we're gonna get our workout in. Look how cute it looks with the blocks. We just got back from yoga, changed, packed up. This is what I'm wearing, just this little like crop long sleeve from, this is Abercrombie. Would you look at that? The baggy Subi jeans. And then these are the New Balances that I recently got. They've been really comfy. For some reason, this shoe, I had to break in. This one was comfy when I first got it, but it's fine now. My little black bag is verified. Whenever we go on a brand trip, they end it pretty early the next day. So I kind of assumed like we would be out of here probably by like 11 or 12 but we realized that the bus taking us back to the city comes here at 4 p.m which a lot of girls had like other plans for the rest of the day so did i honestly but nothing like crucial definitely could hold off so a lot of them ended up just like ubering back to the city we're like okay you know what we're not in a rush if there's a bus a free ride that's coming to get us like we can hang out here hamptons isn't the worst place to kill time but me and nil like we've been saying we want to like go into the montauk like town and we haven't eaten yet today so i think we're just gonna head in to the town where all the locals hang out and I can also just kind of like show you guys what is going on in there. We're just gonna leave all our stuff and then once the bus is like close, we'll head back here, load everything up and then drive into the city. <laughs> up 
breakfast and I kind of wanted to take a little stroll to see what the town was like but Montauk Town isn't very much like Southampton or like East Hampton even. It's giving Santa Barbara Isla Vista. It's a little bit more like California vibes. In the weirdest way possible, this place also looks like the town of Interlochen in Switzerland. I don't know why, this just kind of reminded me of that. Something I noticed is a lot of people here have an Australian accent and Nil was just telling me that apparently Australians love Montauk. Like why would you come from like the beaches of Australia, which is literally gorgeous. I mean sure the beach is nice here, but I don't really think it compares, so vibes. We're on the hunt for some matcha. The girls told us to check out this little shop. It's called Wild Blue. Apparently it's like really cute inside. We're just gonna go take a little peek. Look how pretty it is in here. Okay, that store was actually so cute. Definitely like a cute little place to check out if you're in Montauk, but I don't think I'd ever buy anything there because their markup is like 150%. <laughs> like there was a $2,000 knit Prada beach bag, which I could source that for you for like 450. It does not need to be $2,000. They have Haley and Jackson, which is Jax's full name, right under each other. How cute is that? Oh, I just realized it's because it's in alphabetical order. <laughs> Okay, you guys, this little place, it's called Bounce. Everyone's been saying that it's like a fun little party bar, place to get lit. Me and Nil, we're gonna go to the beach, drink our matchas. Honestly, I'm really not mad about the fact that we stayed behind. We got fries to go and we're just chilling. We're just waiting for the bus. Now I'm really happy that we didn't go with them. Because of the wildfires in Canada, New York literally looks apocalyptic. There's like an orange hue, like smoke everywhere. It looks like this. That's literally what it looks like. And do we want to be a part of that? No, we want to be in Montauk. That's like this. <laughs> Hey guys, finally back home. Came home, unpacked, just picked up my camera. Took a shower, I just had some dinner, some rice and veggie Turkish food. I personally love this vlog. It was nice vlogging for like a long period of time. Let me know if you guys want more like long vlogs like this one. And I'll see you all in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget, okay? I love you, bye.